that's when i saw my stepdad pop up on the tv like yeah washukiwa sita sijui they have been the suspects walipata kwa nyumba ya mkenzi rented in mkenzi's house like they are helping that pastor to maybe to order people to starve and and kapigwa simi nikaambiwa sasa i am um, nilikuwa mmoja kwa wenye walikuwa waende huko shaka hola shaka hola sijui tusiende huko shule hiyo masomo ni mbaya masomo ni ya shetani well, actually ali niambia hapa nyumbani ukiamua kuacha hizo vitu unafanya room yako iko the way vitu unafanya ni masomo ni masomo if you think you can be the reason i'll go back to babylon then you're wrong mimi niko na watoto wengine wenye naezalea A young and promising medical student is currently working as a house help here in Egembe South. The reason is because her mother discouraged her from going on with her schooling, calling it evil. And she says the last time she heard from her mother, the mom was traveling to Shakahola in Malindi. Welcome to today's episode of My Story. My name is Yvonne Kawera. My name is Sheila. I'm Sheila Kawera. I'm 20 years old. I'm a student at Jomo Kenyatta University. I'm um, taking clinical medicine and uh, last year I was headed for my third year but siku me being here and then because of went a lot of challenges to deal with mm-hmm. so right now so I is at Komiru County Riaki village again south constituency apa ni kwa my grandmother and today we are here because she is because of me Yeah, of course they have yeah. because of me. Because of me. <laughs> yeah, I have a story to tell so this is me. Mm-hmm. Right. I was born huko in Gembe South but my mom and my biological dad on kwa na issues so we have to separate. After we separate me nika kuja kwa my grandmother hapa sasa ndo nilelewa ndi class 5. Class 5 hapo nika my mom again got married in Menti. So I moved there Kakana my stepfather. Until then I think I can say my life was super good actually it was very good because my mom like yeah I employed her immediately to Elimeliza college she got employed mm-hmm. na county government she was a ECD teacher so I can get employed that time so sad life really well wow some soft life yeah soft life yeah <laughs> same the same way bro so life will change what i got my life feelings are change i think 2019 nikiwa form 4 that's when my mom aliona ya tv naitwa times tv yeah pastor mckenzie mean the other man story ya shakaola and everything mm-hmm. that was 2019 late i think it was august july august ndo aliona hiyo channel kwa tv akaanza kuosh actually i think ni nakumbuka mzee ndo aliona kwanza akamwambia my step father his name is frederick kremi mm-hmm. aliona akaanza kusema this pastor is teaching some things that me naelewa we can relate like it's something like i feel connected kwa hiyo kanisa so my mama alikuwa huko nje akiosha osha akamwambia kuja uone this pastor is saying something that maybe you should listen to my mama kaingia aka watch aka watch times tv you can keep airing that was ilikuwa ina air preachings every day kila siku unapata u preacher wa mackenzie ameenda ku preach unasikia leo mimi ako zika makongeni kesho ako kuingine everywhere his everything was everywhere in the country alikuwa na preach kila mahali hmm. so my mom yeah pia kaanza ku watch so august mackenzie said that anatengeneza conference Meru County anakuja na live conference so anybody mwenye mwai sikiliza like unajua uko uko umesikiliza so utasema i have to go my mama akasema kuna conference na tunafaa twende Meru alikuwa ame rent hall uko na ikawa ni mwenda anto Meru uko karibu na taskiz uko juu so ali rent hall and we went there my mama ali fanya alisponya kila mtu aende So to to even you to learn that this you want everybody me back then to like I think three kids three yes there is me first born kuna mgeni anaitwa Gregory Karani so hiyo ni step brother like tulimpata huko kwenye my mama alikuja na mimi mm. then there is Kefa sasa mwenye 
my mom and my step dad wako na yeye then kuna huyo mdogo mwendo huyo wako kwa hapo by then so my mom akatubeba sisi wote tukaenda huko mlifunzwa nini kwa kona i can't remember so well but i remember tulisomwa book ya joel na revelation it was explaining some things about end times like you preaching you can ilikuwa inaka urgent like you need to do it today ni kama dunia inaisha kesho so ukibaki maybe baki at your own risk so we listened akika kusema venye seven beasts of the bible me i'm not a big bible person so how can i understand yeah but yeah kielezea mimi nilikuwa nasikia wow nyewe naelewa this pastor is saying some things that i can understand I'll call them seven beasts in the seven united nations in anga seven seven kuna seven beasts united nations yondo kitu pekee naweza kumbuka and then there is somebody who asked him like 2017 mckinsey had a case kwa court ilikuwa ya brainwashing and radicalization so this somebody said mckinsey can you explain to us what this brainwashing is cuz we've had women at court na the court me ku release na bond i think ilikuwa 10000 um, if i'm not sure i'm not so sure it me ku release so tell us what it was then we can this stood up and told this person brainwashing we all know the brain is ni akili and washing we know it's kutoa kitu kwa uchafu so that's me god has sent me to come to wash your brain sisi vitu za dunia zenye me like mega oh eh, yes hiyo babylonian system sasa ndo ili, ilianza kuingilia hapo mambo ya masomo mambo ya kazi everything so hizo mambo zote god has sent him to come and help oh, us sure. clean yes so i was there like okay this pastor is confusing me in grammar me am a learned person and I'm confused na grammar How about the bible yenye mimi mwenyewe kuelewa it's an issue mm-hmm. your revelation akura mtu anajua ile andiko on what basis kama una ni confused na grammar sasa hii bible nitanisaidia mm-hmm. aje but I did not tell my mom the following day to kaenda hivyo hivyo for you that was a red flag no? it was yeah wow. why no one ni confused na grammar na mimi mwanafu mm. so hiyo ikaenda hivyo then sasa it got to a point that is telling people you should not go to work like anything like school working going to hospital family planning technology you remember that time kulikuwa na huduma namba hapo mm-hmm. sando ilianza kusema atio that was a way of the government putting us hiyo makia 666 cuz he said based on what the bible says mwenye kona ana hiyo mark hata access services yes so and the president said or the authority said that kama una huduma namba you not access them so he told us that was 66 and up to date me i'm not registered by the way <laughs> yeah tunajua sasa so census ilikuwa coincidence such that kwenye mama alikuwa shanunua shamba na jenga tulikuwa tume rent na hiyo ndo tukisema kulikuwa na census so she was doing like this mchana sisi tukienda kujenga hiyo nyumba si tushae paisa nyingine usiku tutarudi kulala huko kwingine so atakuwa tunafika nyumbani mm-hmm. ya yeah, tulikuwa tunaenda tunajisiti somewhere tuko na mtoto for kefa i think alikuwa 4 years back then june 2015 yeah it was 4 years so tukitoka kujenga hiyo nyumba tunakuja tunajisiti kwa kichaka kidogo kidogo hapo tunajificha hiyo siku inaisha hivyo the following day census ikaisha yote county wa yeah what yeah. so hiyo ni mama na instructing si fani cuz ameambiwa hey, iko kwa mof construct ilikuwa mof I didn't mean like honestly and I should do this. Yeah, okay, I would start believing that. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. So sir, can you really happen me Mackenzie ali aliwambia that you should now not go to work. Don't go to work because it is evil. My mom alikuwa teacher wasi ndio nilikwambia. So alikuwa anasema this kulikuwa na nemesis ilikuwa ina register watoto. So idea alikuwa anasema zitu ni plan ya kuweka watoto. Ah no to the dramatic akasema yeye kama mwalimu she cannot do that to the kids juu yeye ndo anafaa kuwa na guide so besides pastor amewaambia kufunza ni mbaya kwenda hospitali ni mbaya so what's the point so let me stop right there sasa so, so, mkenzi me like alianza kuni 
sikuwa namuelewa juu huo mtu alikuwa alikuwa na disk alikuwa na record hizo teachings zote kwa disk na disk yake actually iko inatoka so moja kama za watu wengine nilikuwa like if not 300 500 alikuwa anazituma kutoka Malindi unaenda kuchukua Meru kama umeona inaenda zika inaenda inywe kwenye mtu anaenda so you can imagine this person is telling you don't go to work then he wants you to buy the same discs um support besides yako in his line of work why are you working why are you preaching in the first place bon atafuta pesa mara kwanza and you're telling us we should not work atuna pesa so tunafaa tukubai hiyo disc na nini like ali energy confuse yeye mwenyewe na nikaona that was it i was in form 4 actually kala girls nilikuwa na you prepare kcs and everything let's say my academic records were good so me i happened to drop out of out of school nikaw form 4 jazz man convinced me otherwise they can drop out for like two weeks but then the principal and he began him be shila yes atukuoni shule what's happening mimi nilikuwa na scholarship high school mimi namwambia sina pesa sina personal items za kurudi shule anambia do you want me to come for you at all mimi kamwambia jokingly yes njunile tu principal anazaji kuja nyumbani he nilishtuka alikuja kani chukua tukarudi shule. So I remember ndo ilikuwa the last time we had a real conversation with my mom. Alinipatia 1000, akaniambia weenda sasa maliza hiyo form 4 after hapo ukiamua kuendelea na masomo you are on your own. But ukijisikia we have to follow this preacher or go to heaven as they say, you can come back home. Oh this is you do or you don't come back home. Okay, after KCSE okay. ni nirudi. But after nirudi I moved out immediately sikukaka. Why did you move? Julie kwa na car like why do you you can imagine yes unapita yes unapata the desired grid then coming home somebody telling you utasoma lakini masomo itakusaidia like ilikuwa ina kuwa sana 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 anytime ukimletea report hata kama like my academic record was always clean sikuwa na kosa top top 5 in the old school so unashtuka ati mom ni kufu mpo sahi nimepata sijui wenye wazazi wengine wana visiting wanakuja wana oh my god conversation oh kwa hapo tu unaambiwa wewe ndio naye kusoma tu ni masomo unasoma itakusaidia utaenda mbali zi mnaenda kwa shetani so niliona mimi ananibo ya alini no that's not how you do it hata kama angefaa niambie wewe kama umeamua kusoma enda ukasomea mko mbali si kuniambia ati utasoma itakusaidia and everything ndio leo na skanga mimi alinikasa mshini maybe ana so lipataje pesa kwenda campus so after form 4 nilipata a minus 78 points nikaitwa jkwad kufanya medicine sasa mimi after tuliona tumesumbuana na yeye sana nikarudi huko kwa huko sasa kwenye nimeelewa and my dad kwa usi mbali from here actually it's like that means from here mhm when again and come on there mimi nataka kwenda campus nimepita so what you do you will call your friends or anybody you know tutengeneze arambe we raise some cash me at least ninge campus from there we will know mm-hmm. yeah so we did actually that sija tarambe ilipata pesa ngapi me can't remember how much when it was but sasa nikaingia campus eh juja mimi nilifika peke yangu like yeah squad they didn't quite talk at all at that was the farthest place to shine up again so when came back his suitcase kwa barabara niko nayo hadi na ya kwa nini naongojea nini and i was not actually 18 i was 17 years back then nilimaliza nilikuwa mdogo mimi nikajimbemba ni campus nika report nika fanya mambo za online everything nikalipa rent ya mwezi mmoja after hapo sasa ah mimi it's now where the drama starts sila mtu akwambia ati yes John Paul awe mpya alikuwa anatusaidia na school fees nikipata basari na lipa sikuwa na kosa basari most of the times sasa you can imagine school fees imelipwa then hauna mali ya kulala ama nyumba imefungwa hauna chakula akiulizo ni nguo gani mimi ashai actually nguo yake yenye mwisho tu niko nayo ni less when my mama ashai ni baia that was the last thing me to look at i from there I've been on my own like Kabita. Sasa mimi kuingia campus hapo ilikuwa vitu kwa sasa nyumba ikifungwa natafuta mabishi wawili watatu kuna lala hapo. 
ama kama uko na my exams kuna ile siku unajifanya una translate but all in the name of yeah una chance ile bitu kwa zinaendelea so at some point meta anta nilikuwa napigia mtu nyumbani na muombea sina chakula na sina nyumba sasa huo mtu nyumba na irobi ni 8000 so mtu anakutumia like 2000 Mm-hmm. 2000 ni food ni nyumba what do you do, do with that mimi na mwa wacha landlord anifukuza ni zaka nayo kitanda bora ni jisort ni kulange na niende class yeah. ikakuwa hivyo ni kilala ku huyu galala ku huyu uzuri niko na marafiki wengi mm-hmm. na like si kila mtu anajua okay hakuna mtu anajua story yangu basically so i was like the person who is always cheerful na angia na cheka class afanya exam na pita naenda only late na rudi next semester mm-hmm. Yeah, so I'll call, I think I'll kind of cry. It's just style. It's just similar to me style. Okay, and holiday will come to Japan. I'm going to go to Tiango. Okay. Yeah. So we'll end the lifestyle back up Africa. I'm going to go second year. I'm going to go second year, actually. So when I came here, there were a few things that were clinical equipment. I was going to go to the telescope, the monitors, and everything. I was going to go to the telescope, and I was going to go to the telescope. What? I was going to go to the za poja account sio unjajikea chakula unjajikea rent 50000 min tanzia api hauna mzazi wa kuambia ati oh mama nataka hiyo nataka hiyo so somebody give me 12000 nirudi na shule hiyo ndo fair hiyo ndo gas hiyo ndo food hiyo ndo nguo hiyo ndo clinical equipment ile ndani kakuwa stranded town nikashindwa sana tanunua vitu za shule ama nitalipa nyumba ama nilale nje for the time being ninge so i decided nikanunua clinical equipment nikanunua like i think three of them patella hama the stethoscope ingine torch pen and no is what that one kasema acha ndi sort na hizi kwanza so that's the most important part of it mambo ya rent ikifika hapo sasa i know what i do best ngakao kwa rafiki yangu sasa siku like a few days sasa ni now like nilika mimi nika feel i was tired I was very very exhausted. So when Kasema let me come home to shule na kwanga na cancel actually. Yeah, my mental health was not the best at the time. So na kwanga na yeye. So mean can I come and and chairman chairman wa school of medicine. Come me I need to take a break from school. I need to go like restart ile ndo restart kwanza. Sikwa na join to kuja nipatane mode drama. So nikukuja uta mimi katoka shule yes kuna nilifika town niko na suitcase niko na bag niko na kila kitu actually we was this other doctor mm. Clinton tulikuwa na yeye town kwa stage i'm calling my mom na muombea mom mimi natoka shule leo nataka like to take one year like okay. you know maybe we talk we do some things like kwa na sikia tu nimemiss nyumbani do you know me nikuwa nimeweka my bag hapo tumegeti hapo kwa stage the lady told me don't come back home like yeah he was there chata ninge record hiyo kitu anibe don't come like usikuje huku we kama uliamua ni mambo za shule zile vitu mmeamua kufanya carry your bags alone so you can imagine sayo ni saa sita niko juja yeah na tuko stage fair ilikuwa like exact fair ile ufike nyumbani tu na huu alikuwa ametoka kirinyaga so like we had to split yeah rudi ha tama bag mbili tukapata gari akaniambia what you do go to your grandmother hapa sasa ndo nikarudi kakunja hapo nyumbani nikakaa miezi mbili then sasa nikaamua cha nitafute job kutoka toke kidogo then i earn some money i went to isiolo that was the worst one month of my life actually then nikatoka huko nikarudi hapa nyumbani tena huko isiolo ndio nikufanya get about it yeah that's right okay like there was this husband of this lady the lady was so cool actually i loved her but alikuwa borana kwanza alikuwa borana borana ndo alikuwa mbishte yangu so you can imagine in this family like the guy uko umelala usiku unashtuka mtu like amekunza tu akaingia kurumia yako then talk on a box up okay i don't know kama ni demons and is like cause and cause amani nini yeah so many car like nikanjitoa to like hata sikuongoja hata alinilipa even pesa ya one month but 
back in school I was actually working two jobs like nilikuwa nafanya kazi kwa familia mbili jumi but na mkanga 5 by saa 5 nilikuwa nishamaliza hapa natengeneza lunch and everything then in the afternoon naenda kwa mtu mwingine at least ni keep busy umsea sikuje kunisumbua tena so na keep busy hadi vrindo na rudi joto natoka shule so i think maybe got jealous that maybe i'm doing two jobs na yako ana job ini like alikuwa tu anakaa kwa nyumba besides me when you like ana job i work house yeah ndio uh, yeah no anda ni kwa mdogo hivi labda njui <laughs> so katoka isilo nikakuja nyumbani nikakaa um like for one month eh sasa ndo nikaenda kwa kwa the brother to Mr Peter ni pastor huyo sasa no saa hii na work house ile sasa as much as yes it is helping me at least kukaa busy ndo ma vitu mingi zisimsumbue juu but yeah ma much of a thinker actually no but thinking everything every detail one of the most of the times unaweza nipata like nimeva two year phone all through ni keep too busy ni subscribe vitu mingi mm-hmm. so nika nimeenda kwa yake sasa nilifika kwa yake link ilikuwa don't remember if it was march or yeah hapo march ndo nilienda it was like march 19 mm-hmm. yeah ndo nilienda kwa link brother yake mujaribu kumpitch in touch number tango here sasa hapo sasa ndo nilijaribu kumpiga after nimeenda huko i called her It was April 4th was my last day to speak to us so mm. actually I did not speak to her I talked to Mr Peter and asked him if there's a possibility mtu mwenye alikuwa ame yeah he got a resigned job kumbe the lady yeye ali desert kabisa ile alienda akiendanga hata kusoma mabarua aliacha tu watoto hivyo shule so it was a desert him status and come lisa if it's possible that lady arudi kwa kazi so at first Yeah, I can be kama ni possible arudishwe kwa job. Then he asked me actually, can you leave the yes who nataka arudishwe? But here this is not about you and not the teacher. So inaweza kuwa unataka arudishwe. But na yeye mwenyewe. Sasa mimi unajua most of the time sikuwa tunaongea na yeye ilikuwa more kubisha na kubisha na kidogo kidogo. So my aunt Srinda sasa ndo nilituma kwake nikamwambia waenda muulize kama anaweza rudi job. Tezo kwa hapa huko mama kwa hapa hiyo time. Na nige. Wewe una unaongelesha anti yako wako hapa wako huko Meru ama wako? Anti. Ehe. Anti ama my mom. My mom. Anti ameolewa hapa around kwa hiyo job. Yule mama Silly Meru ama alikuwa shaenda Malaysia. I think. And kwa Meru hiyo time. Alikuwa anakuambia hizo teachings bado. Aliacha ji after I scan Meru Bell aliacha. But I remember that I can to man my script go past I think me acha kwa Frida kwa box I'll come in to man kibaru imeandikwa my readings but me was ashamed kumpatia unezaje unaweza kuja umpatie mwenye umpreche kama unasikia but mimi ba magen is that I'll not want somebody else to do it and besides ile kuna car rumors so mimi napigia my mom I miss kumpigia my aunt akampigia my mama akamwambia the first time waliongea akamwambia let me think about it ni ulize my husband Okay. Hapo maybe unajua kuna kale ka hope sasa. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe mm-hmm. yeah, kuna hiyo. Acha leta nikaanza ku plan mwenye nenda shule atakuwa akinitumia. Nilikuwa nakwambia Clinton nakuwa anatumia 10,000 kila mwezi ni sawa rudi job like I'll not have that struggling life again. Hey. Sure. Kumbe it was the beginning actually. So my mom akasema acha fikirie. The following day my aunt I'm called na mi I had my doubts nilikuwa naambia my auntie inaweza kuwa hata ni setup hapo nayo juu unajua time mwenyewe hiyo chacho inakuanga watu waongo. I remember akimuliza kama umetoka job anamwambia hapana niko shule. But hata wewe unaweza sikia environment ya shule venye watoto labda wana make Christmas unasikia tu kwa maliko kwa silent so alikuwa anadanganya all through back in 2019. So my auntie anamwambia mimi namwambia inaweza kuwa huyu madam ana to set up but let's wait and see kwenye itaenda tukangoja kumaliza siku kama mbili hivi akampigia akamwambia hapana ya hataki kwenda job tena so mimi nilijam you cannot imagine like trying ni kama kuwa kwa toxic relationship you're trying to help this person get up but yeye mwenyewe hataki kuamka so mimi nikampigia school kumaliza ni, ni mambo gani uko nazo mimi thought you said you want to think about it uko na change of mind na hiyo cha chini unaenda kaniambia hapana siku ni mambo ya kurudi babylon stuck tena hii mambo yenu ya masomo so can you listen ama you want to think you will be the reason why I'll go back to the scene in kanyamaza kaniambia if you think that's the 
you can be the reason I'll go back to Babylon then you're wrong mimi niko na watoto wengine wenye naweza lea so unajua kukua na options is a good yeah it's quite a superior place so mimi nikanyamaza tu juu like kama yeye mwenyewe ameko actually aliniambia hapa nyumbani ukiamua kuacha hizo vitu unafanya room yako iko but as for now labda ukikuja ukumeishiwa na nguo no mimi naweza kusaidia ila kwa vitu unafanya ni masomo ni masomo sasa so ukiamua kukuita hiyo masomo room yako bado iko hapo you can come and stay I can send you square like I need mbe vitu mingi mimi nikasikia like why did they even call in the first place lo anambia sasa wewe ukiamua kukufa ama kuishi just know I'm your mom yes I love you like a mother and I'm trying to shape you ndio you know for when but since uliamua kunidisobe labda ukishua na nguo sasa ndio unaanza kuja kuchukua nikamu nikaniuliza nika, nika, nika kwani uko hawa tu umeona wenye wanataka kunirudisha job ni wagani kama mbio sijali mimi ni marafiki zangu na ndio ile kumik jokes ambia ti au sijali mimi kuna connections and everything ah akanimuza kani mimi sitaki kurudi hiyo job tena na i thought actually alianza saa kunimoke akaniambia i thought uko shule nikamwambia eh mimi niacha shule niliacha shule like for one year juu like it's been a lot of pain and struggle sana mimi sawa bas ile tu ya okay go keep suffering wajuni the real matter kwa yeye mtu anakukoa leo nikasikia tu nile mm okay nikakata si akania nika actually yeye ndiye mimi nilimwambia in case badala tukae hapa tukiage for like some hours na mimi usha make up your mind kamwambia ah mom na tuongee vitu mingi actually hata nikao ni change kumuita mom nikao amuita Doris you know the na the like i felt usha like kukua in a relationship where you want you're giving everything to this person but that person is giving zero in return so that was i was feeling jumia i'm trying i'm calling her every time that i get at kama tulikuwa tunaongea vibaya nikaacha at some point actually niliacha ndo my aunt akaniambia keep calling her like that's what you should do as a child so nikaona tu ni destructive like the more i talk to her the more inanifanya ni break down so just cut her off yeah and that's what i did in really april for mm-hmm. mm. what happened on april for that's that's when i told her to really i really job you to say can from get calling her mm. shit then nikakata simu sasa kukaka like after a week what happened after a week actually ndo aseme anaenda jerusalem ni mr actually nilikuwa na watch news within that one week me nilikuwa na watch news ndo nilikuwa na mambo ya shaka hola imekuja so my aunt anaitwa frida and namna mpigii usiku na muuliza muone hizi mambo pasta wa kina mama anafanya huko malindi ananiambia hata mimi nimeona but i hope hadi your mama ko na tv ana watch ndo aone alikuwa na follow the darkness siku ya kwanza ikapita tunaona ati yo the death toll inaendelea ikipanda 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 so I don't remember the real date but I still have that photo in my phone. That's when I saw my stepdad pop up on the TV like yeah. Washukiwa sita sijui they have been the suspects walipata kwa nyumba ya Mackenzie Rendend in Mackenzie's house like they are helping that pastor to maybe to order people to starve. That was what the they knew. Stepdad is among the suspects. Yeah, among the six of them. Niona tu ame walk hivyo kwenye wanakujanga hivi then there they are she just took a moment mm she la breathe yes iko sasa sile siko na jambi anga ati breathe then i smile actually that that was the first day i think i cried not what i knew and like i'm a person who when you want to just shut the jig bend up to an end like i just screamed once but in the twin like i screamed like two minutes ah that's enough she la now i now watch now it's like it don't want to my aunt na muuliza huyo muona muona my stepdad kwa TV ananiambia hapana mimi nilikuwa napika huko nje na mtumia picture kwa WhatsApp nilikuwa niliona tu sasa nika screenshot nikamtumia like kila mtu alikuwa so short like this is not the same guy that we knew me actually i knew my stepdad was let me say the best mm-hmm. yeah ju like alikuwa anafuata like anatembea na watu anasimoka watu analewa but you could not catch him akifanya hizo vitu by 8 usiku alikuwa sharudi nyumbani so mimi hakuna mali like nishai muona in the wrong anyway in the room so ile ni catch of god like nikashtuka is this the same person that i knew mtu mwenye ukipata like i remember there was this one time mimi nilipata 380 marks nikakuwa number 10 kwa district alinipatia dhao mimi nilikuwa mtoto sijaona dhao tena 
hiyo siku niliruka like he was there to support you atakawa kwa like the biological yeah. kid he was there can peleka the high school so this from the same man that i saw mm-hmm. that was not him nini kashtuka kwanza like nikapigia my aunt and niambia eh hey, yenyewe ndo huyu tumemwona saa hiyo ndio ndo the following day i went to mr peter then we talked akasema anatuma kwa county commissioner amiru that story then the county commissioner said ana tuma ma cid so i don't know how that went mm-hmm. but bado unafanya kazi ya house yeah yeah sasa ndo ni after niliona that the dad says and ilianza kujishuku like where is my mom at so i you like they're in the same church so and far akuwa na ile the wear and boots of the lady and everything so like tukaanza kupingana simu the whole family like who talked to who who talked to who last who talked to who. so there is this my aunt of mine a call chuka huyo sasa anaitwa Helen Helen Kagendo amelewa chuka so yeah yeah walikuwa like they had a close relationship with my mom and when we say so like walikuwa na ka close compared to so other yeah huyo like she's more calm when talking huyo Helen ana kanga na kusikiza and everything so elena anasema yeye alimpigia aliongea na yeye before easter this year this year na my mom said and i quote what i had not that i had but i quote what i was told that yeye anaenda jerusalem na naona ni kama shafika actually amekaribia kufika jerusalem kumbe the lady was trying to sell her things like alikuwa dia amejaribu kuzia my other aunt so far said kila kitu i think ilikuwa ndo arise fair aende huko malindi or i don't know maybe i'll come and try kunza kila kitu aje aende labda in jerusalem ya nenda na ndugu messi tree hi mhm so i think i'll come and try kunza kila kitu apate fair aende sasa hiyo jerusalem jewels my grandmother told me like 2019 years i remember the pastor saying that the preachings were closed like sasa ye yeah. actually alikuja na ile suti alikuwa amebaa akianzia injili like you know you have that ka clothing you say mm, maybe i learn these clothes leo acha ni buy leo i'm starting a new life mm-hmm. then she come and say sema let me wear this one so the pastor came with this ki blue ki sijui ana zinitanga waje za wanaume mrefu mm-hmm. akasema this is the um, clothes that i worn when i was starting the preaching so right now god has said the injili is closed now we have to wait <laughs> yes from god as they say god so that me i was there like okay pastor where we you are pastor yes me again i'll say i'm not the most religious person there is but this guy is, is telling us that injili mifungu i expect you who come ulku mtumwa na mungu you go preach more like sasa tunaweza toka kenya uende dunia nyingine ama kama kuna dunia nyingine don't know unaenda hata uganda ama anywhere else you go preach why are you telling us it is close i think that god like to pass up a church that's not a mistake it's a big one so you should maybe keep preaching and you arudi you see when you are to jix when you are arudi so you that was another big green flag like how do you tell us to stop praying and sit and wait now let's wait and all this thing you're talking to me at all no yeah no so, yeah julko na mwambie like we were it was more counter attack like when somebody tells you you slap hard wao mtu ananyamaza so Yeah, mimi nikaachana na yeye. So say 2023 ndo tunasikia ate oh tunai two brothers our patikani. Oh, my brother. One of my brother eight years kefas mutembe. A patikani, my sister two years pia ya patikani. Like maybe they went with the mother there, I don't know. We are not sure you as you've had kwa hiyo night on the rescue center. Like there were no details of them anywhere. Then the guy I don't know what he said to me but I was on Clinton in Sydney Kenya in December but all in all so uh, that was my life campus life the hardest of ever struggle the yes actually do as mtu angeuliza kwenye ndikuwa na lala kuna mtu angesema bibi hakuna mtu shai kuja ku make like ku make like kusema yes i saw her the last time she was living hakuna mtu shai nileta shule hivyo aseme hapo ndo nilimwacha so we can start from here hapana i just went Kendon nika yeah so yes ku Clinton and nikuje shule actually it was actually nikuje kwa kwenye nyumba yangu ilikuwa inaka like i was super depressed if there's something like that squan squan a bulb mko chat wa kila kitu like i did not want like squan squan and attend classes like for one month i was just sitting there when she sits to naskia i don't want to move i don't want to shower i just want to sit here now 
maybe ni mwezi tu ni kufesta ki kukula i was feeling can i say now mm. yeah it was yeah so that when i was i visited him to come here can i be and take a break that break now has turned into a nightmare she says i have was you can to sing like you need you cannot tell your uncle you cannot tell your grandmother you cannot tell we just want to tell your mother but she's not there to be told ajina mimi naitwa pita kaveria nkobito uh na kwetu ni hapa gembe south yeshinda tulio naye kwa sasa ni kuweza kupata watu wa hii familia wafike kule malindi ndipo sasa waweze kufuatilia hiyo soju tuone kama watu watapatikana wakiwa hai so na walikuwa wamejaribu hapa kuchanga changa pesa lakini unaona familia vile ilivyo ilikuwa ni shinda kuweza hata ku pesa ya kutuma fa watu wa familia kwenda kule Mombasa so bwana mshimua John Paul Merigi alisikia hilo jambo na akawa na huruma na familia ni pesa ngapi inahitajika nikamweleza na akatuma hiyo pesa alinitumia mimi mwenyewe hiyo pesa niposa tukaweza kutuma watu wawili wa hii familia wakaenda kule Mombasa my name am Mudhuri Clinton Murungi ya yeah, Sheila is my nephew mm-hmm. mimi ni yangu yake eh ulikuja kujua hii story ya mama yake vile adili kwa ndo kimitu well hiyo story ya mama yake i came to realize that yeye ni supporter wa Mackenzie in the year 2019 when i was in form 4 because nilikuwa na resigned kwao kwenye ameolewa kwa Meru that time i remember that time and kwa and i'm organizing a conference Mackenzie akatoka huko Madindi akakuja andi meru and uh, it happened that i attended it i also listened hiyo ma masfunzo yake yenye anafunza mafunzo yake iko touching if kama akili yako ni kidogo anaweza kubepa anaweza ku brainwash that that time is when i realized that ye yako active follower wa makenzi na nilikuwa naona andi hiyo wakati anamtumia pesa like 2000 like 5000 kum support na hiyo mission yake anasoma kwa tv nasikia ndore skendi pesa imefika maneno kama hizo sasa yeah wakati things changed for the worst ilikuwa vipi what happened like when things happened to be worst mm. it was in uh, that year 2019 because i remember like uh, august there ndio aliacha kazi ndio ali desert kazi na ilikuwa to one stamp three ndo alikuwa anatuambia sijui siende huko shule hiyo masomo ni mbaya masomo ni ya shetani sijui yani alikuwa against everything that is happening now against the government against in the kind of legislation hapo anataka maneno kama hizo sasa hiyo wakati sasa ilifika ilifika wakati nikamwambia mimi kama sasa kuniambia masomo ni ya shetani na kama masomo ndio itanipeleka kwa shetani me I'm ready to go there nitaenda huko and from that time from 2019 i remember and it was the last time kuongea na yeye mimi si jai mpigia simu na hata yeye jai mpigia simu paka sasa hii yeah nilikuja kujua kwa malindi the issue ya malindi mimi nilipata i remember nilipata kwa nilio kwa tv that's the time when uh, we au maskari walienda huko wakavamia huko wakash eh, kremi yakashikwa huyo sasa ni mume yake. Huyo ndiye niliona kwa TV. Nikapiga simu nikamwambia nimeona mtu kwa TV anakaa kama kirimi. Huyo sasa huyo ni mume ya sisa yangu. Mm. Nikawaelezea nyumbani. Mikakati ikaanza kupangwa nchini za tutafika huko kwenda ku, kuona vyenye anaendelea ama kupata more information about my sister na watoto. Yeah. So far what has been the outcome to come the sack? Well, njui wakati niliona nikapika simu huku mm-hmm. nilikuwa shule e, walianza ku organize yenye tunapata pesa ya kwenda huko. I remember walikutana nyumbani hapa nikaambiwa pesa imepatikana and nikapigiwa simu nikaambiwa sasa I, I am nilikuwa mmoja wa wenye walikuwa waende huko. Shakaola. That is Malindi. Eh nikafanya mtihani I remember hiyo mtihani ilikuwa mtihani ya mwisho hata nilifanya in rush ili nimalize na tusifike huko usiku 
it's like uh, 17 hours kutoka hapa kwenda huko eh tuliorganize tukapatana na mmoja mwenye alikuwa anatoka hapa ni brother yangu pia akanipata huko Nairobi tukachukua gari tukaenda tukafika huko wakati tulifika huko kulikuwa na procedures zenye mtu anapaswa a follow that the first thing ulikuwa unaenda unaandikisha majina ya mwenye unatafuta wewe ni nani kwake na area yenye umetoka tuliandikisha majina ya Doris na watoto wake wawili tu hapo kwa station ya, Re, ya Red Cross kulikuwa kumesetiwa ambis in that kila mtu amekuja kama unakuja ukitafuta mtu wenu kuna mahali ulikuwa uende uripoti sasa hapo walikuwa meseti mahali kwa kwa Red Cross tulienda hapo tukaandikisha e, samples za DNA zikachukuliwa tukapatiana picha zake zote zenye tulikuwa nazo then we were told tutakuwa tuta notified the way next or the way forward because atungeendelea kukaa huko nje economy ilikuwa mbaya ilikuwa imehit hand unajua kukaa hapo kulala kwa siku moja kukomboa nyumba ni like 800 in a day na mko watu wawili na ukienda huko unapata sheria za nyumba unaambiwa hata mpasu kukaa nyumba wanaume wawili sasa ni mimi nichukue yangu na my brother achukue yake na kulikuwa na financial constraint azii kwa hapo sasa we went to camp there just for two days and we did it we reported it to the police to the CID tukaandika ripoti what we know about Kirim and what we know about Doris ah uh, we were able to speak to Kirim that the husband mm-hmm. uh, of my sister tukaongea na yeye face to face face to face tulienda huko kwenye alikuwa amepelekwa juu walikuwa amewekwa Malindi police station but by the time tulienda kumpata alikuwa amepelekwa Watamu that like uh, 10 kilometers from Malindi we had to travel there tukaenda huko tukaruhusiwa kuongea na yeye tukamuita na akaanza kutupia story but the story ilikuwa inakaa kama iko walikuwa me structure it is a structured kind of a story because hawako wanataka watu wajue kwenye wako na wako wanataka wajue watu wajue vyenye walikuwa wanataka kufanya they, they, as in they wanted to do it kwa giza giza hivi sasa tukaenda nikamuuliza what happened and mbona akashikwa alikuwa anaendea nini malindi hakuna watu wao wako huko hakuwa anajua huko alikuwa anaendea nini na wife yake na watoto wako wapi sasa akaanza kuniambia mimi nilikuwa naenda kununua shamba sasa he was like namuuliza shamba niko huko ziko huko kwingine hakuna shamba ya kununua ukawasema uende kununua huko kwa nini sasa akaniambia alikuwa na alisikia ina, inaenda atachipa price sasa akasema anaenda huko anunue anjenge huko na aishi huko sasa nikamuuliza are you sure that ulikuwa unaenda kununua shamba ama ulikuwa na issues zingine juu a uh, mimi najua you are wewe ni follower wa Mackenzie ni Diane's wake how happened that how does it happen that ulikuwa unaenda kununua shamba huko hakuna watu unajua huko na huko unajua hata mahali kwenyewe sasa ndio nilikuwa nanieleza sasa alikuwa amesema nyumbani sijui atauza hiyo shamba ahamie huko alikuwa ameambia mama yake alikuwa ameambia watu wao but hiyo iko kweli ilikuwa uongo sasa nikamuliza watoto na waifu yake wako wapi akaniambia yeye ndiye alienda like one week before them sasa yeye aliwaacha nyumbani na wezi kuwa anajua kwenye wako na nikamuliza wakati ulishikwa ulijaribu kumpigia simu ama kupiga simu nyumbani useme useme umeshikwa akaniambia i tried to call her that's a um, uyo bibi yake alijaribu kumpigia simu lakini hakumpata but i know wako ana simu na wako walikuwa wameacha kutumia simu juu simu technology haiku inatakika nani ya shetani sasa walikuwa hako ana simu na alikuwa anajua kwenye yako but alijaribu kunificha hako niambi kwa hiyo niambia that aliwaacha nyumbani and watch yenye alikuwa anajua kuhusu hiyo wife yake ni alikuwa amemwambia like, like two days prior before aende huko ashikwe juu alikuwa nyumbani by that time meru alimwambia anata wife yang wife yake sasa that my sister alikuwa amemwambia anataka kuuza mahindi 
akuja nyumbani huku kusalimia mama yangu huyu mama yetu sasa lakini si haikuwa ukweli walikuwa wanauza mahindi wakauza miti huko huko kwa, kwa shamba ili wapate pesa ya kwenda huko shakaola huko malindi kwa kwa hiyo pasta wao ya yeah. sasa alikata kuniambia kweli kwenye bibi yuko lakini niliandikisha ripoti kwa CID yenye najua na vyenye tulikuwa tumeelezewa hata na neighbors okay. sasa paka saa hii after kuandikisha hakuna ripoti tumepata yoyote positive nimekuwa kila siku nikiwapigia simu nikiwauliza what is happening wamefikia wapi maneno yamefikia wapi wananiambia they are still searching wamefanya wameanza kufanya DNA za dead bodies zime zimekuwa eh, exhumed still eh, kwa wenye wamepatikana wakiwa hai hakuna jina kama dori ziliko huko na jina ya watoto wake yote hakuna yenye imepatikana up to, to date so you still we are still waiting hadi ya asubuhi nimekuwa nikiongea na yeye amenipikia simu saa hii asubuhi akanieleza they are still searching then akiniambia wakifanya hiyo postmortem wapate ayuko hapo mm-hmm. then we think otherwise maybe anaweza kuwa amejificha maandiko mengine si shakaola mm-hmm. yeah cause kuna watu walitoroka kuna watu walitoroka and, and it is seen that anaweza kuwa alikuwa ka, ka, pamoja na wao wenye walitoroka okay. yeah if she if she happens to see this we are not sure if she will mm-hmm. what would you want her to learn from her brother I know if she gets it and I know maybe she, she know that from the time it, it started being aired in the media I'm sure that lazima akue amejua kwenye yako mi chenye tuna muomba akiona at least tu wacha akunje tu muone akuje nyumbani tuna welcome hakuna mwenye yako na kinyongo na yeye na tumechoka anatuumiza roho kila wakati kundaka hapa tukimtafuta you are tired kumutafuta tumetumia pesa even psychological torture is there and you kila siku unapigiwa simu kila siku unapiga simu ndo ulize yako wapi ndo ulize maneno yamefikia wapi kama ana, anatusikia na kama ameiona kweli na kama hata ataambiwa wacha akuje nyumbani tu we are free we are welcoming ha hakuna mwenye kwa nachinda na yeye kabisa kwa mbani njina ni kadhiri ni kaungu murungi kutoka hapo hapo mali ndio ni naomba kwa heshima patabute mtoto na watoto wake wampeleke nyumbani hata kwake hata kwao tunampenda tunampenda kama pepe tunampenda mimi zetu kuongea uliongea na mara mshali ni naongea naye mwezi wa pili unaongea na akiwa wapi? Alikuwa huko Miru, nyumbani kwa. Mm. Tunaongea. Ah, salimia, kamsalimia, kama habari yako, akamniambia ni suri, mimi kamwambia ni suri. Toka hakuna hakuna kuongeana naye. Ite. Kama nakutazama sasa hivi nataka kumwongea nini? Na ninataka kumuona tuongee naye. So yeah That's the life So now you still waiting to go back to school Actually I'm not waiting I know I'm going to school Of course yeah you will. I'll go to school but this is definitely uh, finances are the uh, sana So sana, that's sana. why we are here yeah. to ask Kenyans to support this bright brilliant girl whose yeah. hope has not been dimmed <laughs> And I don't be so. numb I'm trying at least I don't need to make smile. I can one of us strong can be. Yeah. You'll be okay, you'll be okay. Mhm. Nani mko keep support kwa tuition. Oh yeah. Yote mpaka mali mfika size. Yeah, actually I would like to thank our MP Mr. John Paul Mwirigi. Should I say honorable John Paul Mwirigi, Gembe South Constituency MP. 
has been helping me a lot. And I mean a lot. Paying like all my tuition fees. Like every bursary I've never cooked. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So he has helped me throughout until now. But sasa, the issue comes with the upkeep. You can estimate like roughly mm -hmm. rent Nairobi like 8,000, 10,000. It's a bed sitter actually. It's not even like a big house. 8,000 or 10,000 a month. Mm. You have to buy food. You have clothes. Sometimes you need pocket money. I'm a lady. I need to go to salon. Come on. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Of course. So, and then there's this other thing, clinical equipments. Actually, it's really, really expensive. Like, we had like 13 equipments, but I don't know. I think I estimated it was, a, it was approximately like 50,000 or something. So, on my own, clearly mm -hmm. I have no parent. So, that's not there amount of money I can raise myself. So mm -hmm. I'd like anyone watching me, like to help me in any way, mm -hmm. I'll appreciate that awesome. a lot. How can these people reach you? Those who want to support you. Yeah. And look at this camera and say Yeah. Hi. <laughs> 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 yeah. So anyone who wants to reach who would like actually to help me, you can reach be my, my number. Zero seven forty six three eight seven one forty eight. I'll repeat zero seven forty six three seven one forty eight. My name is Sheila Kawira. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks, Sheila. No parent name. Just no Sheila. parent name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you're hopeful about your future and yeah. Actually, I talk in parent and as a funny master's all through. Yeah. Like, you know. Talk. Yeah. Make a future for yourself because you're bright. I mean. you oh, I am very bright. Very you are bright. bright. Yeah. Sheila Mzungumza na tumiona ni. She's a very responsible girl. Now, Rana, she is struggling even right now. Put off to Pesa for Giaake, Awezi Kujisaidia Kule Kamasomo. So, my thinking is anybody mm -hmm. that uh, feels touched, Kumsaidia Huyu, Tunaeza to put to me either number a Shaila Bandale or two, a number B, okay. to fault in any in a Ezaku confuse what to. Now, I can myself, I can vouch for her. I have confidence. Uh, in her, she is responsible. So, you to her ataenda kuharibu pesa ama kutumia pesa ni mtoto anapata shinda nyingi kwa maisha mm. maisha na amekuwa responsible so i believe she can manage whatever support comes her way mm. kama ni upande wa karo hiyo unajua inaenda straight to the university but hii ya uh, upkeep na hizo vitu zingine inaweza kutuma tu kwa namba yake directly instead of having two centers normally it, it confuses people okay. That's, yeah, okay. thank you. Right. that's kawera's story um we'll bring a guardian who's really 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 supported this young lady you've seen she has a lot of potential she also keeps mentioning a friend's name who will bring on board to like give up uh, give us an update on what has been happening with the search for kawera's mom and half sisters and brothers the family still doesn't know the whereabouts of the four who traveled to shakahola each waking day they hope to hear some news and each passing day their agony stings further we shall keep tabs on this story as it develops from Tuko Reports, my name is Yvonne Kawira.